Hey guys, MTG Noob here, and I am doing a draft instead of standard today. The reason being is, in my opinion, standard has gone pretty stale, and with one week left, I really don't want to pull what I pulled last week and bring you a subpar deck. Um, so I thought, hey, why not? Let me just do a draft, and hopefully everybody understands. So with that out of the way, let's talk about this pack. Rare sucks, pretty good charms, but I'm not going to be taking them. Sunspire Griffin is real nice. Herald's good. Judgment's good. Rootborn's great. Giant Growth, pretty great. I think if you've ever watched any of my drafts, you know what card I'm taking. And it's da 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 Augur Spree. Maybe if we get lucky, we'll wheel one of these. Definitely we'll wheel this. Maybe this, but I doubt it. Take the Spree here. Um because it makes other people fight over things um, and it kind of outside of a charm here and some subpar Rakdos creatures um, I don't think anybody is going to be fighting with me for for things okay uh, interesting one here ethereal armor is real nice but like I said um, Shambler is good Pursuit is fantastic but I really hate going Grixis um, another Swindler these swindlers and key runes great but I think the clear pick for me is just gonna be snatching up this chain walker I don't really like passing Rakdos cards but there's not much I can do about that okay so now we have the decision of a launch party or an explosive impact we also have a daddy long legs blue might be open because bluster squall is here Green might be open because Axbane Guardian's here. Um, there's also some decent white cards, so maybe this was just a really uh, nasty pack. I honestly don't know which card is better, Impact or Launch Party, so I apologize for that. Um, I usually like Impact as it's, uh, you know, it gets the job done. <clears throat> but I think if I pass Launch Party, I'm going to be putting somebody into it. I also like how Launch Party deals with bombs and Impact does not. So I'm going to take the Launch Party. Um, hmm. Actually, you could get Launch Parties a lot easier than Impacts from what I've seen. This is going to be a, t a close one. In the comments section, let me know which was the right pick. I'm going to take the Impact. Oh, geez. Wow. No matter what we do, we're screwed. Um, Ultimate Price is fantastic but I think Augur Spree is just the way to go. Deviant Glee and Shambler, like nobody's in our colors, which sucks because we're going to get cut hard on pack two, but hopefully they took the common bond and things like that. Uh, I, I think Ultimate Price is too narrow. <clears throat> There's a lot of really bomby multicolor creatures in this set, and I do like straight removal, but Augur Spray kills most things, so I'm just going to take another Augur Spray. It looks like we're starting to more or less get um, some sort of black-red control deck, which shouldn't be surprising to you because I really love these colors. Okay, and just when I say that, we get a Lobber Crew, which is really fine. Um, it's starting to dry up a little bit, so hopefully that's not a saying, oh, nope, nope, stand corrected. God, what colors is everybody in? We have a Psychic Spiral, Steeler still, Dynacharge is great, Ethereal Armors, the Bee's Knees, Indrix okay. We'll take the Roustip out there. We could argue that we could have taken something else. Okay, this is not our pack, although it looks like our pack. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to be playing any of these cards. So that being the, the case, I don't know if I should hack just yet. Grizzly Salvage is a good hack. I'm not going to take the gate. Eyes would probably be the card I hacked the most. Monitor's troublesome for Rakdos, in my opinion, unless you have, like, Annihilating Fires. Um, I think I can get more Tenement Crashers and Perilous Shadows. However, Perilous Shadow is pretty good in a Control Shell. So I think I'm just going to take it. I don't think it's the right pick there, but I don't want to send a Black Signal. Okay. Racketeer is pretty trashy. Street Sweeper is not amazing. I'd rather play something else at six. This is decent. Maybe we open a pack rat, but I think I just take the Racketeer. Okay, this was our pack. Um, and we wheeled uh, a lot of good things. What are you doing here? 
what are you doing here? Um, we don't really have a very aggressive shell for the trader's instinct. Um, I think I might want to just take the swindler here as a 2-2 bear. I don't know if that's 100% correct, as I know instinct wins games on its own. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the bear there. Okay, wow, this just shouldn't be here. We are doing a Swiss draft, so keep that in mind. I like the spawn over the pursuit. The pursuit is so good. But I like spawn in like a leader game deck, but this should not be here. How many creatures do we have? We don't have many playable creatures for this yet. I think I'm just going to take a big beater. Okay. Hack a doorkeeper. Gets in our way. Sure. I mean, Mimrot might be better suited for our deck, but I think... Taking a Deviant Glee there is fine. Oh, Foil Forest. Okay, let's hide land. Let's hope to open some nice goodies. I would love to open a Pack Rat. And then just be like, okay, we're just playing a Pack Rat deck. Our deck is coming together. We, can, we have some cards that we don't want to be playing in it. <clears throat> okay, well, we don't open a Pack Rat. Palisade Giant is what it is. Um, I like the Rage Mutt, but I'm pretty sure it's not as good as a Splatter Thug. Splatter Thug does what we want our deck to do. Currently, we're kind of in between. We're like, are we mid-range? Are we control? Are we aggro? And if I took a card like this, then we would kind of be more control-ish. 3-3 um, three, three Haze Lifelink is really strong, but 3-3 three, three First Strike for 3 is much, much better. And there's another Rage Mutt. Um... <clears throat> God, we have no um, no gates, but Jailbreaker is probably better than both of these. Shred Freak is what it is. Rage Mud is what it is. I think I might take the Jailbreaker here and, and try to get, a, get us some gates. Okay, another good pack for us. I like Goblin Rally a lot. Um, Deviant Glee obviously is sweet. Slum Reaper is hit or miss. Like sometimes you're you want to use him in your head, and sometimes you can't use him um, because you're behind. And I don't like cards like that. And they make you feel crappy sometimes, and I'm not a big fan of feeling crappy. And I don't think this will wheel. And then if we get things like Dyna Charge or Teleportal or something for Spl Blue Splash, this will be a lot better. And we're not really hard up for removal yet so I think I take the rally there okay static caster is nice I do like static caster but we're not blue um, and I don't want to splash just for a static caster if I would have taken the pursuit of flight before which might have been the correct pick anyway I possibly would have taken this this is really really strong against like eyes in the skies tokens and it's actually pretty decent against our deck so I'm gonna take a shred freak Whew, thank you gifts um, I would love this second explosive impact, but I think our curve is getting a little bit um, earlier, so I think I'm just going to take the guild mage. I hope I don't go come to regret that jailbreaker pick. I'm going to start hiding some of the things I don't think I want to be playing. So we hid the perilous shadow, and we hid the... Um, the 2-1 Vishano guy. Okay, this is an interesting pick. We have to look at our deck. We have two. We have three spells. Gutter Snipe fits the curve better, but I'm gonna start trying to go all in on these gates. Um, I think Gutter Snipe's better, <clears throat> but we don't really have much reach with spells in our deck, as we have like two Augur Sprees, a Goblin Rally, Explosive Impact. I think having a 4-4 for four, four, four is just slightly better but I we are kind of meh at the three drop right now maybe the gutter snipe is the pick you know what without any gates I can see an argument for taking the gutter snipe here okay this is an interesting pack we can take a cobble brute and kind of sure up our four or we can have inevitability with our our lobber crew another one I like lobber crews a lot they're pretty good in this deck since we have some multicolor spells and cobble root trades out quite a bit so and we have nothing to give them really good evasion or we have one deviant glee so I think I'll take the lobber crew <clears throat> man nobody's in Rakdos 
Okay, this is our pack. I don't think we play Skullrend. I don't think we play the Lizard. Um, so that means I'm okay with hacking, and I think hacking a dispel against us is totally fine. Shred Freak came back. It's good with me. Deviant Glee came back. It's fine with me. If we get the Jailbreaker back, I'd be like pretending to slam dunk a basketball. That's how happy I would be. I'd be like, oh no, is that Michael Jordan or the MTG noob? And then you would see how bad I am at basketball and realize quickly that it was not Michael Jordan. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Don't want to play either of these guys. So I'll hack the Rune Wing. Rune Wing's a pain in the butt. You know, Rakdos does have some uh, a difficult time dealing with the blue white flyers deck. So anytime I can hack a flyer when nothing else is in the pack, I think I'll do that. Um, nobody plays that. I don't want to get milled potentially. Our deck is coming together. I mean, we need uh, a few more in the fours. Matterhorn's not terrible. Disappointed I didn't get the Jailbreaker, but I mean, that would have been super greedy. Pack rat. I also wouldn't mind, like, a Civic Saber in this deck. I don't think I would first pick it, but... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alright, well... Sorry, I'm just going to hack this Armada Worm because I want it for my collection and I don't want to play against it. Um, I'll right-click it just in case. It would be good to take this Rakdos Guildgate as that's probably what we would be taking, although we might be super aggressive and take another Deviant Glee. But I think I'll just take the Armada Worm and note that there's other things in the uh, in the pack. What the hell does this do? I never see this card. All right, whatever. Uh, yeah, Deviant Glee. We're hoping will wheel. Maybe a, uh, an Imp. Maybe the Gilgate. But I highly doubt any of that. Um, maybe we'll get a Scorpion or a Decoy. Decoy is going to be annoying, but none of our guys could block anyway. I'll take the Armada Worm and just straight up hide it. Hide. Okay. Um, I think it's a little early for us to take this Traitor's Instinct, but obviously there's absolutely nothing. Uh, left in the pack, and it's decent in our deck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, there's the Civic Saber. There it is. I don't think we take it, though. I think we just take another Roustabout, um, because I, for some reason I have a feeling we're not going to get creatures. I don't know why. I just get that feeling. Um, this is pretty good in our deck, I'm not going to lie. But we, uh, we currently only have 14 creatures with this, and two of them can attack. So I'm not big on that, and but we are all in on two drops. I'd like this Assassin Strike to wheel because I would definitely play it. I think we're okay on twos. Maybe we take the Saber over this Roustabout. Hope something wheels. This Electricery might wheel. You know what? I think I'm going to take the Saber. Okay, and now we have a tough decision. Launch Party versus Chainwalker. <coughs> Many apologies, I'm still under the weather. Um, I don't see how we take the launch party over the chain walker. I think the chain walker is so good, but knowing we're not getting this back is, is pretty shitty. Um, chain walker is what our deck wants most, so I think I'm okay taking this. I'd like to take the launch party. If there was like a shred freak in here, I would take the, the launch party. Okay, what do you do? Nothing good. That's ridiculous, sure. Now I'm kind of glad I took the Saber over another Roustabout. Alright, we have a deck. Our deck is made. Um, one thing we're keeping in mind is maybe trying to get a gate or two for this Jailbreaker. But we might just cut it. And try to pick up removal now. We're good on creatures. I mean, we're not great, but we could use like one to two more quality creatures. Um, but this deck is shaping up nicely. Like, whenever you have triple Gorehouse Chainwalker, you're just sitting there like, hee hee hee, like a little girl in, like, a salon or something. Is that what girls like now? Salons? <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, we'll take this Dyna Charge. Um, it's what our deck wants to be doing. Uh, if it wasn't here, I'd probably hack one of these giant flyers because they're going to be hard for us to deal with. Currently, I'm going to be cutting this Jailbreaker, but I've got to keep in mind that I'd like to get two to three more creatures and maybe one more removal spell. So that that's what I'm kind of fingers crossed for is just like a really nice <clears throat> removal spell. None of this should be here. I think I just take the electricery for the sideboard. Although a lot of these cards bone us like this is really good. This is really good. This is amazing against us. This is decent. Good. But I'll take the electricery and have it in the sideboard. Okay, well there's one of our good creatures. He's way better than the Cobble Brute. <clears throat> I'm loving having two dead revelers. Dead revelers. This is exactly where our deck wants to be. This is our, this is our pack. Crap. This Deviant Glee came back. I don't even know if we want this third Deviant Glee. I might just want to take this thug. Or decoy. I think I'll take the Glee. If we need a late game threat, we could take this. Which I don't think we do. <laughs> take a gate just for a jailbreaker. I don't think so. I think I'll take the, the Crasher here. Okay, Roustabout came back. Double Electricery out of the board seems ridiculous. I don't know if I was, would play this Roustabout over these other things. I think I would. I think he's really good in uh, with Deviant Glees and keeping regeneration up. He's like ridiculous. <clears throat> okay, doesn't look like we're getting our launch party back, but... What could you do, right? I mean, you can't have everything. Can't have it all sometimes. Alright, well, I mean, outside of missing on a launch party or two, we I think we constructed a pretty awesome deck. Um, I'd be surprised if I don't go at least 2-0 with this deck, although it's slightly low on removal. I mean, I think I'd rather have the launch party than the explosive impact looking back on it. Alright, right now I'm just going to take all the creatures that I want to play. I'm going to bring them down. <clears throat> if you watch the um, For the Noobs video that I just recently created about your curves, this is a pretty good aggro curve deck. So, like you have a lot of twos and a lot of threes. Okay, so we're just bring in creatures currently so we could see what we're looking at because we're gonna not be playing all of these creatures I would assume I don't know how good lobber crews are in this deck to be perfectly honest I think they give reach and whenever something gives reach that's pretty awesome okay, I'm gonna move the cards and I'm gonna be trying to play over here uh, unfortunately this jailbreaker is not gonna make the cut this is a sideboard card. No, 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 I would think yes. No, yes, yes, no, sideboard. Yes, yes. Nice, but not for us. Okay, so these are all our creatures. We currently have 14. Um, this does not count. Our Goblin Rally, which I believe we're going to be playing. We're going to be playing these Augur Sprees. Let me move this up a little bit. Going to be playing this inst Impact. We're going to be playing this Traitorous Instinct. Now we could fit in <clears throat> four more cards. The thing is, if we really, really want to, I think we could get greedy with just playing 16 lands and just riding that out. Um, that's that's a consideration. Give me a second. I gotta blow my nose. I apologize. Okay, back. Sorry about that. Um, the problem with the sixteen card deck or sixteen land deck is like these cards become very hard to cast. Um, however, I might be just so aggressive that I just ignore that. And I'm just like, screw it. And I just play like, like this deck. And I just go 16 lands. Um, 
you know, I could see not playing the spawn. Um, I think I still like the Goblin Rally because it's insane with Dino Charge. And the spawn is what it is. Like, it's not crazy good in our deck. It's good, but it's not crazy good. So let me put the spawn up here. <clears throat> and this would be 17. Um, the one thing I don't like about this is that I don't have room for Lobber Cruise. And I think the Lobber Cruise would just be so good in this deck. Although they don't attack, they freaking just ping. Like ping, ping, ping. <laughs> like they just sound like a little Asian boy named Ping. Ping, ping. Sorry. <laughs> Is that racist? Question mark. Hopefully not. There's a story about a little boy named Ping. And he like does this stuff with a plant. And the emperor's like, Ping, you the shit, because you didn't cheat. So shout out to Ping. <laughs> okay. So if I want to play 16, <clears throat> I do this. And if I, I'm not playing 15, obviously. 15 lands would be super greedy. Um, but if I cut these, I only have 13 creatures. And although they start early on, like if I don't draw them, I think that's kind of weak sauce. So maybe I want this and this, and I cut a spell. I think we need impact. Maybe I cut one of these. Traitor seems so good, though. But all of these spells seem really good in this deck. This is how it looks. I could totally see playing 16 lands. Not 15, but 16 is completely fair, I think. Maybe I cut the Goblin Rally, although it's insane with um, Dyna Charge. And it triggers Gutter Snipe. Maybe we cut the Gutter Snipe. Let's see how many spells we have. Dino Charge, one. Two, three, four, five. No, I think I leave the Gutter Snipe, even though that's not insane. Six, I think, yeah. The Gutter Snipe seems fine. I could cut the Sword. Maybe the Sword's overkill. But I think a sword is just so good. Like a sword on this, a 4-3 first striker. 4-4. Four, four. It's like 4-3 haste. 4-3. Four, sword seems really good. Uh, I don't know, guys. I'm kind of tempted to play 15 lands. Talk me off the ledge. Talk me off the ledge. We could also play 41. But I don't think I want to do that. <clears throat> When you're playing an aggro deck, you really don't want to play 41 cards. You want to just beat face. Just making sure I'm not omitting anything. I mean, I want to play him. He's good. I want to play him can't. These are no good. This is a cyborg card, in my opinion. This guy sucks. But he's playable, but not in this, this deck. Um, Jeez, really? I'm definitely playing 16 lands. I just don't know what to cut. And I usually don't play 16 lands. I'm so tempted to play 15 lands. If we hit 2 lands, we could cast half of our deck. But you know how that goes. I'm just going to sit here and screw myself over. Um, if I wanted to play 17 lands, I'd probably cut the cruise and play this guy. But I think that's not that great. I think 16 lands is totally fine. Alright, I think I'm going to cut the rally, believe it or not. <clears throat> I know there's worse cards in the the curve earlier, and Goblin Rally is good, but it's a 5 drop, and if my curve essentially stops at 3, and then these things, I think having a 5 drop is not that good. Alright, this is our deck. Uh, let's hope greed pays off. So thanks for watching. Please check out the mtgnoob.com.